surrounded by Gotha Tour on the north and on the east. Academic Shen. There we see 300 feet over sea level. Hundred and twenty six acres. Here we see one lodge from one of the gateways out from Heathfield House and there's the other lodge on the extreme left, also out from Heathfield House. Clunas had a size of 126 acres, 50 acres of uh, uncultivated land in the south. Now this lodge here at Town Moving on towards Barry Castle. Now what is from here on is the town of Clonanas. Up here to the left. And this is the lodge where the present Tommy O'Hara lives. One of the gatehouses out from Heathfield House. Down survey, there were no tenants here in 1838. <coughs> this is the place it's named on the meadow. Oh, box, uh, box of Heathfield over there, Heathfield House. Over there, got the tour. The river there is the boundary between Clunas and Gortatua. Now, in 1856, according to Griffith valuations, it was owned by Reverend William Buck and he had tenants such as John Lavelle, James Welch, John Doherty, John, here we see uh, the fort, maybe of some significance. John Doherty, John O'Hara, Patrick O'Hara. In the background, Slate Hill, 800 feet high. Another view of the lodge. One of the gatehouses that led from Heathfield House. This is the old road. And the Valley Castle came in through Billus in over the, the hill. Ahari. And there we see going out the mountains towards Billus. Fort 300 feet high over sea level. The object seemed to be on that level. And that path of 
this is some early next town land. This is where Hatefield House is. Now this here is the other lodge. Belong to Michael Buck, N.T., married to Marion Mundley. He taught in Billy Castle School. She taught in some school back then. They had a big family. Two of the two, mem two notable members of the family were Sean Burke and Finnard Burke, who made an impression down in Lacken Parish. Sean Burke became one of the top men in the Department of Education. He was an MA and he was uh, one of the divisional inspectors. And after his death, he is buried in Shangana, Shangana in Dublin. This was the large hill. They improved on it since it was a large one of the gatehouses on the way out from Heathfield House. It is not in Clunanas. It's in the next townland. I think Latuma. You don't remember any tower being in it? No, I don't remember any tower being in it. In it. Yeah. 181 acres, 191 acres. And the owner was Oh, it was the Oliver Box. Oh, that would be Oliver Box. 191 yeah. acres. Yeah. Oh, yes, got the tower. He'd have a lot of Johnny Weston's tower. Yeah. Got the tower this side over Johnny Weston's tower. Only Camden is now. Yeah. This town land was owned by Oh, Buck, that must be Oliver. No, that'll be Oliver indeed. Living in Heathfield Cottage here. And the tenants paid about £1.14 an acre in 1838. Okay, yes. That was dear. Now, in 1856, Reverend William Buck was here. Yes, he was a clergyman. He yes. was a clergyman. And there was a James Early, John Teig, Michael Teig, Michael Early, Thomas Ford, Anthony O'Hara, John Lavelle, James Welsh and John Doherty. Ten families here in 1856. Did you ever hear of any of them? Oh, I did. Is that you mentioned Early? Yeah. Oh, that would be Mr. Desmond Early's great grandfather. Michael Early, is it? Uh, Michael Early, yes. That would be Mickey Early's father, I think. Yeah. I, I remember seeing Mickey Early. No, there was a, there was a, there was a church down here. No, 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 a church education society schoolhouse in 1856 by Reverend William Bolt. Yes, he was down there. Yeah. He you, nev you never heard of it? I didn't hear only about the big clergyman himself. Now you know something about the box from down here, the present day box in Bellinaya, don't you? Uh, well I did, I had the box. Yeah, they came from down here, did they? Uh, well, they, 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 uh, uh, yeah, yes, well, uh, yeah, uh, that man that was in, what I call him in Ballantop, but H.C. Burke was a nephew, the lawyer. Yeah. And he married Catholic. Yes. And the family then were Catholic. And Dr. Buckton, Dr. Buckton was Henry, Bo uh, was H.C.'s son. And these two young doctors, they are the sons of Dr. Buckton. Yeah, there's an Oliver and, and uh, an Audrey. And there is. Yeah, Johnny yeah. Paddle met some of them for a show the one day in football. He was, I heard them saying he was That's saying right. that he's a strong man. Yeah, a big, big man. A big man, man. they yeah. 
And Mary Robinson is one of them on the lawyer, Adrian Buck. That's right, he was involved in that film with Buck Carrigan last Yeah, I think so. So this is where the... That, that's the home place. Uh, originally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, down there. That's what I think. So, who's in it today? Uh, well, uh, all good, all good man, question of how the diamond. Price? Yes, but uh, you see it at the whole on the roof. In the sense of the roof, I need to stand over to Johnny something, Johnny Cancer here in Johnny Welsh. Oh, so he's not living here anymore? Uh, no, uh, well, uh, the blue rain's on the other year, you know. Yeah. yeah. There was, was a new roof put on in 1882. The what? Yes, there was a new roof put on that oh, house yeah. in 1882. Yeah. The third roof, I'm sure, uh, Johnny Welsh. Yeah. And which was a... What's a good word for the great man of history? What's his name now there? Michael Price? Is Michael it? Price. Now before him was uh, Joe Price, was he it? Just uh, was Joe Price. Yeah, did you and know him? Oh, indeed I knew Joe yeah. at the South Coast. Yeah. He wasn't great with Father Quinn, not he wasn't great with Father Martin. <laughs> he was not. Was he Catholic or Protestant? He was Catholic. Yeah. He was. He was in Canada and America. He was staying in Canada and living in America. Tell me. Yeah. Are there any reports of that house down there being haunted? Uh, Hayfield? Yeah. Oh, indeed, I often had just happened. Indeed, I often had stories about it. I yeah. might want to hear that now. Yeah. I did. So there was. You don't remember any of the stories, uh, no? Well, I do. I had them. Johnny Worcester. Um, Johnny Worcester had a sister living there from the house. Oh, she said about. Oh, she said over 40 years. And she was not even in and over there. Down there over and got the sewer. And she was saying she saw the light coming in Hayfield Road. Coming in Hayfield Road. And Night, night, and it didn't have a She made for the house, and she was in a bad one to reach the house. Yeah. Yes, but Johnny Welsh himself wouldn't believe in ghosts at all. He never saw a ghost. He says, people, people, doubt he says, it's around here, they're all the time talking to ghosts. Well, now, uh, that, oh, it does. That other house up there is Box of... Yeah, that's the uh, Box of Heathfield. Yeah, of Heathfield. Yes, that was built in 1931. And you know for Duna is below? Yeah. Well, they mean that uh, repaired that and built it. They walked uh, from home below on Duna Dober, the Cockerton's, up to that every evening and back again. Yeah. Was it a good walk? It was a good walk. No bikes or motor Now, Mick Buck was there and he taught him Billy Cashman. And, and the wife. And Marion Monday oh, taught yes. in the in Glen. Was it in the Glen she was? Uh, yeah, in. Uh, what did two schools there in Billy Cashman? Like me when you call it the Glen School. Yeah. She got into the bike school. Yeah, and uh, then there was a big family down there, and Sean was. Indeed, Sean was. Yeah, he was one of the top in the Department of Education in the Irish uh, section of it. Right then, before Mick Buck, do you know who owned it? was the lodge? Uh, oh, that was James Amanda that lived there for, be, before the Buck owned it. Yeah. Uh, he was in Uncle the Ball and the Timber Merchant in Ballinay. Riley and Ball. Riley and Ball. Yeah. But I had a man to say in Mother he can't see how Riley came in, Mad, but he never couldn't find out about Riley. He well, Riley wouldn't be down here. There would be both partners in business, like with money. Partners in business, in, that's what in, I in expect. Yeah. That's what I expect. So, Boland. Uh, but James and Money was Boland's up. James and Money was Boland's That was a cottage, two rooms, and a kitchen, a hip roof, and they widened it and lengthened it and made it to a story-high house yeah. That was in 1932? That was in 1931. 1931? No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, I'm a year out for the 1930 because for the 1931 the buildings was in Carrick Hill, the castle. Yeah, yeah. That means uh, the slope on the hillside? A lot of them. Yeah. yeah. The slope on the hillside? Well, it's a good slope. It is. I, I, I often go there once I walk up there. Yeah. I was falling for the bit and I was in a hurry up there and it was a bit nice. Lacking, lacking uh, means the same thing, on yeah. the side of the hill. On, on the, the side of the hill. That's the television mask that, what do you call him, has here? That's the television mask that gives the television to the Largan family. It does. Tell us what that is, that's Yeah, well, Johnny Tay, Tay Larigan, isn't it? Johnny Tay, yeah. and, and the board. Yeah. Well, this isn't in, uh, got no, the tour now. No, it's in now. This fence here between yes, Calumet yes. Shaw on the right and, uh, and yes, on the bar, on the bar. And got the tour on the left in yes, there. Yes, yes. The stream coming down along Larrigan Bow Hill? Yes. Is that the one coming from down the hill, down meeting the Billy Castle Road? Meeting, yeah, it comes down the hill and tell me four is there, you can't see it, and it meets Cross River here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All comes down from Slate Hill. Yes, they do, down the Tommy Fool's old house. Three parishes meet up there, don't they? Uh, I think they'll find me someplace up there. That's right, and uh, Lacken and uh, Killala. A league is in Lacken. That'll be the middle uh, up there. Yeah, I suppose. Billy Castle over here and Kilfine on the fire side. Uh, yes. Right. I had a bit, uh, I had Mickey Watch to go now. That's the uh, three parish priests had three, uh, three stations and three houses one time and they met her at the station. 
Oh, I remember hearing him saying that for that fight or not. No. Who was this Michael Walsh? Uh, well, uh, Michael Walsh was it? Well, Michael was his name. Uh, he lived over now from my candles over here. It seemed that was there yesterday. When Johnny Walsh died, he got dead out. Yeah. And it went to the auction and Jeremy Candler bought it for around £600. This wouldn't be fungus Walsh, was it? 